Hello there, I'm Alex from the Skills Team. This video is an extract from our time management workshop delivered live to an audience of students on the 20th of October 2020. In this extract, Naomi discusses planning your day with the help of student tips and advice. You will notice in the workshop that there are multiple pointers moving on the slides. The previous activity in the workshop asked students to each use an online pointer to show which task on the screen they will prioritise and these pointers remained on screen for the rest of the workshop. So just a summary, um, when you're planning your day, take some time to identify all of those tasks that you want to complete. Think about what priority those different tasks have. Remember to consider your deadlines and your fixed appointments and make sure you include breaks and be flexible if you need to. So again, going back to my analogy with this job I had with my big in-tray, um, we would get urgent memos coming in through the course of the day as well. So you had to have flexibility as well. You couldn't, having put all your nice case files in order, you couldn't then stick to that rigidly because if an urgent memo came in, then you had to deal with that. You had to be flexible with it. So um, you need to have the capacity for that flexibility as well. There we go. Ah, now this is, I'm going to put a poll. Ah, people are using the pointers again. I love it. Right, but there it is as a poll. So, um, on the poll, tell me what time of day you work best. So, lots of people saying morning. I am a morning person, I'm going to say morning. Um, and then we're fairly evenly split between afternoon, evening, and night. Evening's just edging ahead. Oh, yes, we've got lots of morning people here. Lots of morning people. I love the little point that's hovering. That's giving me such such, um, such joy. I'm glad we found that function. Um, so, yes, lots of morning people. No one's saying they're unsure, which is interesting. Um, I think the longer one studies, and um, by the time you get to um, university, what, you feel like you've been studying for a long time, um, the more one gets to know this about um, oneself. Like I said, I'm definitely a morning person. Just wanted to, to highlight this. Um, obviously, and I am well aware of this, running a session at four o'clock in the afternoon here. Um, just because I'm a morning person doesn't mean to say that I can work in the morning and then not at all the rest of the day, um, if only that were the case. Um, but it is useful to think about um, what time of day you, 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 you believe you work best. Um, and when you're planning your day, think about what tasks you're going to do in that time that you work best. So if all those morning people, what tasks are you going to do in the morning? And you might want to think about tasks that um, you, get, you find more challenging. You might want to think about tasks that require more concentration. So that's not necessarily the same thing. But if it's something you know you want to concentrate and you're an evening person, then Think about doing that task in the evening when you know you've got your best um, mind to it. If you're, um, if you're, if you, if anyone was unsure about what time of day they work best, and and indeed if you've got an idea, but, um, it's always worth keeping an eye on on yourself, how you're feeling, how much you're achieving at different times of the day, and uh, because these things can change as well depending on different factors. So it's worth thinking about and it's worth um, taking into account as you're planning your day. Um, or indeed your night and and thinking about what tasks you are going to do when so like I say I didn't have control over when this session um, was on and um, that I was going to be leading this session had I been able to plan that absolutely myself I probably would have gone for nine o'clock in the morning um, however that wasn't within my control but I know which things are in my control so I know that I can do the planning for a session like this in the morning and make sure that I've got my um my mind on it then to make sure I'm really fully prepared for it in the morning even though the session itself is in the afternoon for example so there we go right uh next slide is your chance again to give you your tips so thinking then about that management of time over the course of the day how do you guys do that what um, what tips do you have for that I was thinking um oh I've got in here about to-do list or not to-do list because I didn't want to leave that pun out completely um we've talked a bit about to-do lists an interesting question that I, I that I'd like to know the answer to because I'm I'm interested um 
does anybody do a preparation time at the beginning of the day and a review at the end of the day as to what um, reviewing what they've done over the course of the day, for example? And um, that's something that I always feel I want to do, but never actually manage in practice. I would love to have 10 minutes at the beginning of the day and 10 minutes at the end of every day just to think what I want to do and then look back on what I've achieved but I never quite manage it so I'd be really interested to hear if anyone anyone does do that and yes any other tips you've got for managing that day Alex do you want to be the voice of the chat thank you Naomi of course I do um so um just reading through uh, Joanna said about putting the details of the day in the calendar which I agree um I agree with I always use a calendar myself to try and establish what I've got on um, Aisha says, yes, not so good at reviewing regularly. Uh, mm. Emma says that she plans ahead for the week so that she knows what she's allocating to each day. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all we've got so far. So if anyone has any other ways that they help manage their time over the course of the day, then feel free to add them in the chat mm -hmm. and I'll describe them. Yes, uh, Mary do. says, Mary's just come in and say, Google Calendar for reminders and time blocking. Uh, lots of self-compassion for things. Uh, not going to plan. I agree with that 100. percent Yes, absolutely. Uh, especially when studying at home. Uh, Buju, I don't know what Buju means. Sorry, handwritten journaling. So that means like planning it out. And Hogel for tracking how long it took. Bullet journal. Cool. Is that like an app? Have you not um, heard of bullet journaling, Alex? It's I not, not an app. Know. It's a thing. It's a it's a phenomenon. I'm sorry, no. Bullet journaling journaling is a phenomenon. Look at it up on Pinterest or Instagram. They're beautiful. <laughs> I Sorry, reckon, carry like, on. Partner probably does it. Um, yeah, I agree with Google Calendar for reminders. In my second year, I discovered Google Calendar and it really helped me uh, as a student. And um, especially with, especially the second part of what you said as well, which is lots of self-compassion for things not going to plan. I always plan like flexibility into your time so that you can avoid things. Um, so you can avoid like things going wrong and move flexibly something i said in the chat was that i try and um plan some flexible things in so then if something isn't going to plan, i can just move that to another day so yeah thank you everyone who's written so far if you've got anything else to add feel free to add it in but yeah, yeah that's wonderful thank you alex thank you for watching this extract from our workshop i hope you found it useful if you're interested in learning further about this topic i've added some useful links into the description of this video there is also a link to our calendar of upcoming workshops in the description. If you want to see our workshops live, then you can use this calendar to find and register for events that you're interested in.